Chapter 11. Handling a Meeting in Denmark. Danish business meetings can be brisk and efficient, or they can be extraordinarily long, as the people attending seek consensus on whatever issue it is they need to discuss. There's an old Danish saying that a disagreement is a discussion that ended too soon. So get to the meeting location precisely on time, or even a couple of minutes early, and be ready for the long haul. One thing that sets Danish or Nordic meetings apart is that every single person, from the boss down to the student helper, will be having his or her say on the matter at hand. There's no particular hierarchy or order in a meeting, often no written agenda, and no requirement that any one particular person speaks first or speaks last. The only thing that's a must is that you're well enough researched in your part of the meeting to have an intelligent opinion and that you express it directly and politely. Well-considered and even provocative questions are okay, too, as long as they relate to the topic at hand. One of the most difficult things for people from hierarchical cultures to learn is that it's perfectly okay to disagree with your Danish boss at these meetings assuming you do so respectfully and have facts to back up your point of view. In fact, your managers will probably be angrier if you act like a yes-man and fail to point out obvious flaws in their arguments that might lead to a disastrous business decision. Why didn't you say anything? Danish children are brought up to challenge their parents and teachers. In this anti-authoritarian culture, Silent obedience buys you nothing. Whatever gets decided at the meeting may be reversed the next day if someone gets a better idea or if new information comes in. In fact, you may leave the meeting feeling you've accomplished nothing at all. But you have. You've been part of the consensus.